Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In the comments sections, a few people have been asking me to make a video of how to install a hard start kit, and that is what this video will be about. Now, if you're wondering why do you even need a hard start kit, or when do you ever need one, I read an article online before I made this video, and I couldn't have said it better myself, so I'm just going to read their list real quick. One, if you want to extend the life of your HVAC system, because it's almost like a boost for the compressor at startup, because for any electrical motor or compressor, the most strain that's put on it is at startup when it's starting. So what this hard start kit does for the compressor on an AC is give it a boost and the compressor actually starts up like 10 times faster than it normally would. And I've actually taken readings with my meter with the amp clamp to see how much amps the compressor draws. And for example, it'll be like 70 after I put in a hard start kit, the startup amperage would drop down to like 40. So almost cut in half the startup amps. So it does do a big difference putting in a hard start kit, but I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself. Let me read that list that I was talking about. So reasons to put in a hard start kit into your AC unit include an air conditioning system that is getting old, if you have a home generator, if your low or high voltage is inconsistent, lights dimming inside of your house when the AC unit starts, and by the way, don't expect this to solve your dimming problem. Sometimes there's some other kind of electrical issue going on. It might decrease the length of time that the lights dim when your AC unit starts, but most of the time it'll not take care of that problem completely, but it will help. Anyways, moving on. If your compressor won't start and is just humming like it's trying to start and you've already replaced your capacitor. If your AC system has a TXV metering device, you should have a hard start kit. If you have multiple ACs running at once, if your air conditioner trips breakers occasionally, or if you have long refrigerant line sets. And what it means by long refrigerant line sets is between your condenser unit outside and the A-coil inside, which is usually on top of your furnace or below it or to the side, depending on what setup you have. If the distance is pretty far, like 50 feet, that's quite a long line set. Then you may want to have a hard start kit in there as well because the compressor has to work harder to push all that refrigerant back to your A-coil. So those are most of the reasons why you would want to put in a hard start kit. And most of the new ones, this is a hard start kit right here, will look like this. The potential relay is actually internal to this thing. But if you look at my unit, for example, my, my unit came stock with a hard start kit and a potential relay. This is how they used to look. What this relay does is it keeps the start capacitor in the circuit only for the startup of the compressor. So actually it's only in the circuit for probably less than a second. It helps the compressor start and then this potential relay takes it out of the circuit right away and only the run capacitor stays in that circuit. So basically this little potential relay right here is inside the cap of this thing. It's all internal. That's why it's called a hard start kit. And by the way, if you see there's a screw hole right on top of here. The way you would put this in is literally inside anywhere of your electrical section where you have room. Like for example, I could put mine right here. You just put a screw in there and screw it right into your cabinet. Just make sure you don't have any coils on the other side of wherever you're screwing this in. And yes, I know my coils look a little dirty. The cotton seeds or cottonwood seeds are doing their job. I also, just so you know, um, it works nice if you pre-drill this or put a screw in it first and then take it out. Because sometimes if you try, try to go straight in, this thing will crack. Also, there's a clip. This isn't as good, but if you have no room to put it anywhere, uh, you could just clip it to a couple of wires so it's hanging in midair. <clears throat> now, as for wiring the thing, as you can see, this one is very simple. It just has two wires. And the reason that this one has a spade, or a splitter, I should say, is because sometimes your common section on your capacitor you can get a capacitor like this off of amazon same box made by subco your capacitor sometimes will have all the spades used up so other wires go into it in that case you would take one wire off put this one in and then you can put the wire that you took off right back on but anyways most capacitors will look like this for example uh, you'll have a herm wire coming from your compressor herm is compressor Red, a lot of times, is the common. That'll go to C. As you can see, all three of these sections are labeled. There's C, there's Herm on the bottom, and Fan on this side. A lot of times, Fan will be brown. And then you got your hard start kit that you're putting in. Just so you know, just to clarify this, 
The hard start is only for the compressor. It is not for the fan. Fans do not need hard start kits unless your fan is some gigantic commercial thing. So if we're not using the fan, really you only have two options left. So wiring this is really simple. One wire goes to common, one wire goes to Herm. And that is all it takes. And then you just screw this into the cabinet or the casing inside of your electrical section somewhere. And you're good to go. Your hard start kit is installed. Well guys, and that is how you install a hard start kit. Hopefully you found this video useful. I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time.